What's up guys, I'm Don Smith and this is What's Cooking Neighbor and as always, I'm gonna take your taste buds on a culinary journey. And today we're gonna to do something a little healthy. Yes, I know, I can't believe I said that myself, healthy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a pan seared chicken with a sun dried uh, tomato sauce to go with it and we're gonna do with a little bit of rice, uh, cauliflower rice, healthy. So let's run through the ingredients real quick. What we have here is we have some uh, chicken breast tenderloin. Now the recipe calls for uh, boneless chicken thighs. I couldn't find any. So it's very easy just to substitute. It's just as healthy and even faster to cook. We have some uh, extra virgin olive oil. We have some onions. We have uh, heavy cream here, some Parmesan, some red chili flakes, and a little Italian seasoning with some garlic, uh, salt, pepper, thyme, and chicken broth. So let's get started. So what we got here now is we're gonna, for our cauliflower rice, get our water going there. We don't need a lot of that, so we just set this aside right here. And our chicken, we'll put aside for now. And let's get into a little chopping. Now, we don't need this whole thing of uh, onion, so we're just gonna cut off that much right there. This is about all we're gonna need. And we're going to do a quick dice on these. Get rid of that, it's too slippery. It doesn't have to be uniform, nothing nice, just a quick, a quick dice with this. Let's move those to a side. And then we're gonna go in with our garlic. Now it's just totally up to you. I love garlic, a lot of people don't, so we're just gonna use uh, two cloves there. And we're just gonna pop them out just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And with our second one. And then just a quick rough chop on our garlic. If you like the taste of garlic, you don't have to mince it up so much. If you don't, you can mince it up, uh, mince it even more. I love garlic and it's very, it makes the dish for me. So there we go with that. And that's pretty much all the chopping we're gonna need right now. So now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna start with our chicken. Move this out of the way for right now. Our water for our, our rice is about to start boiling right there. So quickly, all we're just gonna do is just quick, salt and pepper. We have some uh, Mediterranean fine sea salt. Any salt will do. Come in with a pepper. Now I got two different cutting boards, one for my meat, one for the veggies. We got our heat right here going on right now. Get our extra virgin olive oil open up. We're going to add just a tad bit of that into that rice water. And we're going to go in. And then there's different uh, things of cauliflower rice they got out there right now. This is with the roasted garlic. You have a original one just with nothing. Totally up to you. And that's going to go in. And we're gonna get that going. And this is a great alternative to rice. I make this for tacos, as a side dish with chicken, pork chops. When I do try to eat healthy, it's not always, but you know, every now and then. So that's going there. We got heat right here. We're gonna add a couple of teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil into that. And then we're gonna come over with our chicken. 
That's the sound we want to hear. Now we only season one side of that, so we're gonna go back in. We're gonna season the other side with our salt and our pepper. And while that's going right there, we're gonna come in. We're gonna need time with this. So we're gonna get a couple sp sprigs of thyme. It's real easy to take these off. Just grab it and go down like so. And there you got it. So we're going to try to do all of this and we're going to keep an eye on our chicken. Make sure it doesn't burn. We want to get a nice sear, nice brown on both sides of those. So this dish is very simple, very quick. Now I'm just gonna keep going with our time. When we come back, we're gonna flip our chicken, keep an eye on our rice, and we're gonna put this sun-dried tomato sauce with this chicken all together. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere on What's Cooking Neighbor. Stay with us. Take a look at Campbellsville University's campus with us right here on WLCU-TV, Campbellsville, Comcast Channel 10, and Digital Channel 15. Busy days, busy night. When is your time? Campbellsville University has the online degree for you. Your time is now. DiscoverCUOnline.com. What's up, guys? Welcome back to What's Cooking Neighbor. If you're just joining us, we are doing chicken with a sun, uh, sun dried tomato sauce to go with it. Right now, we're going to come in here, we're going to flip our chicken. And you can see this is a beautiful, deep, golden brown on that side. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side right there. Now what we're going to do, hold on just a second, guys. We're going to just put our onions, set those to the side right here. With our garlic, we got some thyme in there. Fresh thyme. And we're just gonna set that to a side. Now, we're gonna come in here with our main star for, of this dish, sun-dried tomatoes. I'm a big fan of sun-dried tomatoes. It's very deep. Uh, tomato flavor is very sweet. Now you can get these in a, some comes in oil or some come in water. Now this has, this dish calls for basil. Now this particularly sun-dried tomato has basil in it because I couldn't find, find any fresh. So it worked out that way. So what we're going to do is just give a rough chop of these tomatoes. Nothing fancy. If you're a fan, you can have bigger chunks. If you're not a fan, you can go less. You can put them in a food processor to mince them up even more. Totally up to you. It's what it's all about in the kitchen. Having fun, doing what you love to do, and making everything your own. Find some recipes and make it your own. Well, there we go. We're just gonna let that hang out right there. Take a look at our chicken. It's coming together 
nicely. We're gonna let that go for a couple more minutes in our cauliflower rice. Is going to, we're going to let that reduce a little bit. We're going to get a plate to to set our chicken on. We're just going to take our chicken out and let that rest for now. And then we're going to start putting this sauce together. Now we got a lot of oil in this. We don't need all this oil, so we're gonna discard a little bit of this. Keep it about a teaspoon. Now what I did, I cut this down to medium. And now we're gonna go in with our onions, our garlic, and that uh, fresh thyme. Then we want this to sweat, so we're gonna add some salt to that. That way the salt pulls out the moisture and it doesn't brown out. It sweats and it gets translucent. And we have a lot of fawn. That's the bits and pieces that get stuck to the bottom of the pan. We're gonna want that because it's gonna add a lot of flavor to this. And then we're just gonna saute this and the aroma is starting to kick in now with the onions and the garlic. I love the smell of onions and garlic. Just give that a quick saute. Keep an eye on your garlic because garlic burns very fast and we don't want that. Then we're gonna add our sun-dried tomatoes into this and we are going to Give those a quick saute, and then we're gonna start adding our liquids to this, and that's going to rehydrate the tomatoes and all that unbelievable flavor from these sun-dried tomatoes are gonna to start bursting out. It's gonna be so sweet and a deep, rich, tomatoey taste. You can smell it already. You can smell the uh, sun-dried tomatoes. Oh. Now we're gonna come over here and we're gonna hit this with some. Chicken broth or chicken stock. About a cup, cup and a half. And we're gonna bring that back up to a boil. I'm gonna cut this back up, get this going. Keep an eye out on our veggie rice back here. Basically what we're trying to do, this is already done, but what we're trying to do is reduce that moisture in there, all that water, just reducing that and concentrating. There was a tad bit of butter into that with the, the garlic and all that is gonna infuse in the cauliflower flour rice. and give that a lot of flavor. On top of that, we're gonna dump a whole lot of this sauce on top of it. It's gonna make it unbelievable and delicious. So here we go right now. We're gonna let this reduce. We're gonna keep an eye out on this. When we come back, we're gonna put all this together and it's gonna be delicious. So stay with us right here on What's Cooking Neighbor. I'm Don Smith, don't go anywhere. WLCU-TV Campbellsville. Comcast Channel 10 and Digital Channel 15, a service of Campbellsville University. A champion doesn't get days off. It takes determination and drive to realize goals. From long nights to early mornings, from the courts to the classrooms to online. At Campbellsville University, this is why we play. 
This is how we learn. This is where champions are made. Find your calling for a life change at campbellsville.edu. What's up, guys? I'm Don Smith, and this is What's Cooking Neighbors. So join me every Friday right here on WLCU, where I take your taste buds on a culinary journey. What's up, guys? Welcome back to What's Cooking Neighbor. And if you're just joining us, shame on you. But we have a chicken where we're going to do a sun-dried tomato sauce to go on with it on top of a oh, veggie rice, cauliflower rice. And right now, I'm just opening up this. We got our chicken broth reducing nicely with onions and garlic and those sun-dried tomatoes with a little fresh basil into that. Now we're gonna hit this with a little crushed red pepper, optional, totally up to you. Benefit, do it uh, that nice little heat coincides with the sweet uh, sun-dried tomatoes. It balances it out very nicely. Now we're gonna come in with some uh, Italian seasoning. Give that a quick mix. And now we're gonna come in with some heavy whipping cream. This is about a pint. Mix that up. And bring this back up to a boil. And you can see that this cream has went from white to a reddish. And all those flavors are gonna come together. You're gonna marry together. Keep an eye out over here. This is reducing nicely just the way we want it. Make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of your pan. Now we're gonna add some Parmesan to that shredded Parmesan. You can, if you have grated Parmesan, you can do that too. If you have a block of uh, Parmesan, you wanna grate it yourself, that's totally up to you. Now we're gonna throw this in here. We're gonna melt this cheese into this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's starting to tighten up and this sauce is coming together nicely. Now we're gonna add our chicken back into this and we're gonna let that cook in this sauce just a couple of minutes. And always this juices, add the juices back into that. We do not let that go to waste whatsoever. And we're just going to bathe this chicken with this sun-dried tomato sauce, heavy cream, onions, garlic, herbs. Just let this go for a couple more minutes. And our rice is done. All right, guys. The only thing we have to do now is to plate this up. So let's get right to it. What of that veggie rice. Now, that chicken, go ahead and cut this off. This piece has had my name on it the whole time. So we're just gonna set that on top. And spoon a little of that sauce over top of it. And 
and there you have it guys now of course you can put a little parsley over top of that but you know uh, all right i can't find a knife so we're just gonna go in for a little taste here and you can see that chicken is more than done as i make a mess all over this so professional of it. Let's go in. The chicken with that, you can get a little hint of the garlic and that Parmesan cheese come through with those uh, sun-dried tomatoes. If you want this recipe, guys, just jump over to our YouTube channel, see you, uh, YouTube channel look up what's cooking neighbor we have all our ingredients in the description below so just go check that out a lot of you've been asking me for it and this is the best way to get it go to the youtube channel see you's youtube channel look me up and you'll find all the ingredients in the description below all right guys i hope you enjoyed this i hope you tried something healthy something i normally don't do because i don't do healthy i do great food so but this is delicious nonetheless Come back, join us. I don't know what I'm going to be cooking. You don't know what I'm going to be cooking, but we're going to be cooking something, and I'll be taking your taste buds on a culinary journey. I bet you that. See you next time.